Today we're going to be looking at setting up Rhythmizer in several different DAWs. Check out the chapters underneath and skip ahead to your DAW. Let's start off with Ableton Live. Here I have a MIDI channel loaded with Serum and it's just waiting for some MIDI. So let's open up a second MIDI channel. We'll find Rhythmizer and then drop it onto that channel. Boom. We'll load up a MIDI clip and draw a long note. The legato button will stretch that note to the end of the clip. Now we need Serum to be listening to that Rhythmizer MIDI. So I'm going to go to its MIDI inputs. Select Rhythmizer in the first drop down, and in that second drop down, also select Rhythmizer. Now the two channels are connected, let's finish the job by setting Monitor to In so it's always listening to Rhythmizer. Hit play on the clip, and off we go. I would like to mention that if you're feeling too lazy for that, don't forget we included a Max for Live device, especially for live users. Go up to the Max panel, select one of the color skins, and then you can just drag it onto the same channel that your synth is on. You can now write MIDI clips in the same channel. Okay, let's set up Rhythmizer in Cubase. We'll start by making a new instrument channel and adding Serum. Ah, uh, if only we could add Serum as a MIDI insert, but Steinberg doesn't allow for third-party MIDI inserts, so we need to add Rhythmizer to a second channel and connect the two. Let's start by adding Rhythmizer to a second instrument track. I'm just going to pop it above our Serum channel, and I'm going to create a one bar MIDI loop of just one long note. Now Rhythmizer will turn that into random MIDI, but we need Serum to be listening to that output. So on that Serum channel, let's go up to the MIDI inputs and select Rhythmizer. We'll finish the job by hitting the arm button, now they're connected. And hey, in case you missed it in the manual, when using older versions of Cubase, it's best to deactivate Steinberg's ASIO guard just on Rhythmizer. So we'll go to Devices, Plugin Manager, and we'll use the search bar to find Rhythmizer. Now let's go down to Plugin Information and make sure ASIO guard is set to Inactive. You only need to do this once. Okay, let's take a look at setting Rhythmizer up in Logic. I'm going to start with a MIDI channel with Serum loaded. Logic is one of the best DAWs for using Rhythmizer because you can actually use it as a MIDI insert, unlike many of the other DAWs. We'll just come down here, find Rhythmizer under the audio units, and load it up. Now, let's go make a MIDI clip on that channel. And inside that, we're just going to draw one long note, which Rhythmizer will process into randomized MIDI. Hit play, away we go. Let's get Rhythmizer set up in Studio One. I'm going to start by adding a couple tracks. I'll call the second one Rhythmizer. Now we'll head over to our instruments, find Rhythmizer, drag it straight on. Now, I want my random MIDI to be sent to Serum, so I'm going to drop that onto the other track. All we have to do now is connect the two channels. So we'll go to the inputs on that Serum channel and just select Rhythmizer. We're going to draw out a long piece of MIDI on the Rhythmizer channel, which it's going to turn into that random MIDI. To finish the job, we're going to arm that Serum channel so it's listening. Now, let's get Rhythmizer set up in Reaper. Here we've got a track with Serum loaded on it. It's got a MIDI clip with a long sustained note. Now let's add Rhythmizer. We're going to come down here, double click on the effects list, search for it in the search bar, and load it up. And we're just going to drag it so it's above Serum. 
Let's come over to the presets. Select the preset, press play, and you'll hear Rhythmizer processing the MIDI before it gets to Serum. That's all there is to it. Let's get Rhythmizer set up in FL Studio. And we do recommend that you use FL Studio 20.7.2 or a later version. We'll start by loading Rhythmizer on a new track and find it in my More Plugin section. Bingo. Let's head up into the device settings and we'll come down here to our MIDI ports. Let's set the output port to 3. Under the Processing tab, let's click Output. Now let's load up a synth. I'm going to go for Serum. And we need Serum to receive that MIDI from Rhythmizer. We need to connect the two devices. Let's go up to our device settings. This time, we're going to choose Input Port and set that to 3. Now they're speaking to each other. So let's write some MIDI on the Rhythmizer channel. It's going to randomize that. In Serum, it's listening to it. <laughs> 